Uh, what's going on guys? I'm Adolid and welcome back to Crossing Souls. Last time we left off, we pretty much had to do like a whodunit type of adventure um, to figure out who blew up the bridge. And once we figured out who blew up the bridge, we could open up this path. And now we well, actually we have to figure out a date in order to go back in time and a DeLorean back to the future type machine and then stop them from blowing it up. And you would probably think, it's like, well, if they can do that, then why can't they just go back in time and stop the whole thing from happening? A.K.A. the death of Kevin, which would probably stop the death of Big Joe. I don't think it would work out that way. Because uh, you have to think that eventually if Kevin didn't die, maybe they wouldn't have played. They would probably would have just been acting all cool like nothing's changed and not put him in the right position to be to get away from heartless and bronson and stuff i don't know that's my just opinion so let's just move on to this which is exploring this cave which i forget what the reason why we're in this cave is oh there's a diary there's a diary in here somewhere oh big joe's got to be here okay so kevin stays here and shoot how can i keep him how can i keep you here oh i don't know oh this is gonna be difficult because how Yeah, this is going to be weird. Well, fudge. I didn't mean to do that either. Okay, so i got to figure out how I'm going to do this in the easiest way possible. Because I, I want him to stay up here. Okay, so let's see. How am I supposed to do this? Because there's no way I can jump from up there. Oh, I think I know. So I need to push it as far as I can and have him jump. There it is. Okay. I don't know why that took me longer than it should have. Boop. Oh, what's in here? Ooh, there's a thing. Pack. Packed buddy, you've collected a new video game. The collection's in inventory. Check it out. What's the new game? I think it's a first. No, I got another game already. Packed buddy. Oh, it looks like it's Pac-Man. He's hungry, round in the. He's hungry, round, and his stomach has no end. Your mission is to control Packed Buddy, and a giant, a giant cheese that feeds on small cheeses. This com complete this insane adventure and eat all the small inhabitants of Packlandia before the phantoms of lactose. Or, or an extreme rise in triglycid or something or another destroy you. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Because if you think about Pac-Man, it kind of is a weird game of this one, this one cheese-looking thing just sitting there eating everything, and the, the ghosts are like, "Stop eating my, my dots." Oh hell, I'm taking a picture of this. There's no way I'm gonna be able to remember this shit. I have to. I don't know why they have this ancient stuff here. But what, how? Oh. Duh. I don't need to go all the way back. Okay, so there's got to be a reason. Let me see if this guy can help. I still don't understand these damn symbols on the wall. Okay. So. How do you. So there's got to be something to do with this. Because it says one up plus over. Does it start like right here then? Or is this something like I have to do? Let's get you out of the way. Let's get this guy. So there's one. Then there's no point. Like one plus up. Let's see. Where's this this one at? See, this is. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I can already say. I already can tell. This is gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Because it says I need to do this. Sheriff, Grave, Sheriff, Grave, Wheel, Horse, something. What the fuck is this? It's, it has to do with this. These these things right here. Let's see if they can interact with them. No. They can't interact with them. Really? <laughs> It's like they need to be in proper order. I'm gonna try to place a bomb here. 
No, that didn't work. If it says one, then up, plus, over. Fuck, I have no idea what this means. One up plus over two, five. Maybe, hold on, one, two, five, three, four. I don't get I don't understand this puzzle at absolutely all okay so it has to do with something exploding that's what it has to deal with and so I have to figure out the right spot to explode and maybe that's what I should just do is just start blowing shit up because I, ha I have to blow up the right square here so if the star Where's the star in correspondence with here? So maybe if I... How many of this over? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Maybe it's supposed to be 1... Oh shit, I don't know. 1... Up plus oh, see that doesn't make any sense either. Max marks a spot. I don't know. Place a bomb. Okay. Ooh. I wonder. Okay, some of these don't have marks, but let's look. Let's go to one. Okay, some of these places don't have marks, but I mean, I mean, they all don't have marks, but still. I feel like it's like a weird game. Is it like a weird game of Minesweeper? Am I going to have to just figure out which one it is? Because I don't, I have no idea. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to just blow up every single one of these until I figure it out. Give me a second, guys, because it's going to probably take fucking forever.
Oh, finally, I found it. It was right here. Look at all of these that I blew up. I found a fucking dinosaur. And, uh, God, this took the soul out of me. Doc, let's go to 1873. Here's a diary. That's not a single day. I don't regret what I did on July 8th, 1873. I'll miss you, Elias. Always yours, Elizabeth. Fuck, man. That took... Like, statistically, I honestly should have made it. Like, I should have found it. But, <clears throat> I have no idea what this fucking means. Like, I have no idea what it means. It's, unless I'm reading it wrong, I mean, I was going from top to right. No, see, it doesn't... Uh, here's the date. This should suffice. I'll go. I'll go see Brick M. Stonewood and get this over with. See, I don't. I don't. I don't get the whole thing. Like it says, if even if, so, if I was reading top, it says one. So we'd start here, up, plus, over two. You know, I'm over. I don't. I don't get it. If I was going to read it down, it'd be one. Over, bomb. See, I, I don't, I don't get it, and it was, but it was right here. So I don't, I don't get the whole puzzle thing. I don't know what I was supposed to do with there. And if y'all know what I was supposed to do, or I might actually, after this episode, after I'm done recording this, I might try to find somebody who actually solved it based off of that puzzle. Because, holy crap, I don't know what the f was going on with that, but that took forever. It was that was probably the most frustrating thing so far in this game. Frustrating. What do you get? You got anything else to say? Welcome to Goldfield. It says abandoned. Oh, I didn't read that. Careful out there. Avoid sunstrokes. Okay, Hermit, take care of yourself. Mm hmm. Okay. At least I got a pretty good way of uh, getting around now pretty quickly. Good lord. That was no longer fun. And I'm saving now. And we're going to continue on. I mean,. I've actually been recording for 50 minutes now, but it's for y'all. It's gonna be like 10 minutes of me recording, which I find which I find funny. You know. All right, let's go back in time. I want to go back in time. There you go. What's up? Let's do it. Yeah, we have to travel back in time to fix the bridge, then we get out of here. Mm, so what do you want to, is to stop that bridge from collapsing, right? Great. Your call. But remember, a trip to the past can have negative consequences. In most cases, you have to give me an exact date. If you give me another date. Who knows what could happen? Are you sure you don't want to do any of the more research? No. Turn on the machine. I'm sure. Turn that thing on. Has always get out of here as soon as possible. Very well. Then get to work. Copernicus, start the turbo speed motors. We're getting out of here. Oh, aren't you coming? Okay, watch. Watch the barn. We'll be back in a heartbeat. Cool. We're gonna ride in DeLorean. Brick M Stonewood. Come on. Hope this rat trap works. Rattle trap. What? What if we have to play a little game? Oh, we do get to play a game. So press. So uh, hit the maximum speed to make the jump in time. Don't let the speedometer get to zero. Uh, pretty much mash A Y. Oh crap. Oh oh oh, I'm going. Okay, hit A, hit A. Oh no! B next? Oh, we're going faster now. Oh, we have to go in segments. Okay, okay. We're just pretty much butt mashing. Oh, it's gonna go back and forth really quick, aren't you? Yeah, we got to the second thing. Next is the. Uh oh. We're already at the bridge. Is there a time? Is there like a time limit? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, I can't get fast enough. Oh, we're almost there. Ah, come on. Ah, my fingers are getting... Ah, my cramps. My cramps. Cramping. Good job, thanks. Ah, Jesus. Glad we could get up to, what is it, 77 miles an hour? Dancer. What is that? Be careful. Shit, this thing doesn't turn. Watch out, get out of the way. Ah, did we kill her? 
My plan! You'll pay for this. Now what? It was the dancer who wanted to blow up the bridge. I think we've solved it. Already? That was fast. A minute later, we would have been too late. That was pretty fast. I thought we were going to be able to explore some in the past. We did it! The bridge! Oh wow, so now the town's thriving. You're right! The bridge. Now we can cross it and find Mage's hideout. You see, that wasn't so bad. I don't know why you didn't trust me at first. The truth is, you didn't inspire much confidence. Time travel, who would have thought? Honestly, I never managed in a technology capable of doing that existed. Even less so in a dump like this. My furry friend is an engineer. Either that or he stole it. Although I can't picture him doing that. So we have changed the present with this trip? Somewhat. What do you mean somewhat? Well, it's hard to explain, but basically what happened is that in our space-time transit, we haven't come across any variable that could alter other timelines outside the current one, this being the only possible way. Ergo, yes, we have changed the present, but only a small fragment. Luckily, it hasn't caused any butterfly effect outside this location. Huh? Does anyone else understand a word he said? Why can't we just go back in time and prevent Major from implementing his evil plan? Well... Hey, 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 don't even think about opening up your mouth again. My head will explode. I have an answer to that. No, you can't. I'm out of gas, and according to what your friend explained, I'm afraid to go back in time to go again. What a for, for, for attic never gets created because I caused one of those butterfly effects. Besides, how boring would it be if all this could be instantly solved with a little bit of time tra for a little traveling? For attic, which I think is the creator of the game. Yeah, well, they're kind of a deli business. Where I came from, they have a toast uh, with ham you die for. I think there's the creators of the game, aren't they? Man, I gotta actually start the game over and look at it. Okay, well, I guess the, this part we're part ways. Yeah, I guess so. Good luck, kids. I wish you uh, could help out more. Don't worry, you've done plenty. This is something we'll have to figure out without putting any more lives in danger. Okay, be careful. Don't worry, we'll be fine. So now we got this whole place. Hourglass. No matter how long you wait, the sand will never stop trickling. As if time... Within the subject, we're eternal. Awesome. So we, we save the place and save this town. Enjoy the view. Again, I would normally end the episode here, but now I kind of want to ex explore. See, I don't think we should just leave just yet. Okay, yeah. Kind of want to just explore and see what's going on. What a lovely day. I guess it's the dancer and Elias. Huh? Were you, were you talking to me? Never mind. Not now. I'm busy with something. Nobody wants to talk. I get a feeling I know you from somewhere. Really? Yeah, like there's some temporal line parallel to this one. We can coincide it in another place. Better stop talking before someone loses their hand. I don't. I don't get it. It looks like this. What's this? Ooh, there's a thing. Classified document. You received a new classified document. Check the collections in inventory. Neat. Alright, so do I gotta go this way then? Yeah, I guess so. Ooh. You think it'd be a terrible idea to go across a bridge. They were good friends, no doubt. About that, at this point, they've become like family and needed each other just st uh, to keep steady on this journey. Sir, Sergeant Heartless at your service, sir. Uh-oh. He effed up. Sir? Heartless? Oh, he's doing the whole De Darth Vader thing. Arguff. <clears throat> Heartless. And the Duat? The, uh, Duat, Duat, no, I don't have it. I figured as much. Shit, broke his neck. Failed one time. This is the last time someone fails, my understand. If he keeps killing his, his team, his, like, team, he's not going to have anybody left. Sir, yes, sir. Spiegelman, take what's left of Heartless out of my sight. As you command. And make sure Heartless lives up to his name. Of course, sir, I'll be, it'll be my pleasure. Oh, they're going to turn into a ghost. <clears throat> Who's next in command? I don't know, I think you've killed everyone. Repair the ships, we'll leave for the duot this time. I will supervise the operation. My dude's like, oh shit. 
Why would you join an outfit like that, too, you know? Oh, look, I'm sick of walking. You okay? Charlie, you tired? I'm okay, but this bridge is starting to feel never-ending. Yeah, you'd think that there would be some type of supports. It'd be nice to do a cannonball here and not end up smashed on the surface of the river. Well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't hurt to take a break, but time's against us. And also you're on a train station train track. Yeah, but it also would have hurt a lot worse to have to cross this without the bridge. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been a bad idea to travel a few minutes further back in time. So we could take a swim? Stop it, Chris. That's not what I mean, haha. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a third wheel in this scenario. <laughs> Poor kinda do, don't you? Ooh, it's pretty. Ah, I knew it. <clears throat> I miss Biggie. We've known each other for so long. I know he's still there, but it's not the same. Charlie, I, I know you. I'm here for you no matter what. Yeah, I know. We're together on this. No, it's not that. You see, I... What I mean is... Third wheel. Oh, what's that? Ah, train! Guys... Perfect timing. What's wrong now, Matt? A train. It's a train. A train. A train. Hey, you better stop. Yeah, they're probably... Run! Oh, I probably should just, just run. I mean... I think she's the fastest one. Oh, okay. Why are you stopping here? Stand by me. Yeah, this is a stand by me reference in the game. Uh, shit, we can't just go in there or the train will crush us. So what we'll do, there's no time. Go to the side. We have no choice to jump. Oh, uh, how are you going to save him, Chris? Uh-oh. They get some futuristic stuff. Finally, a little action. Uh, calm down, rookie. It's just an expedition, and lighting up on the gas is not a race. Ha, no fucking way. I'll be the one to get there first and take all the credit. Don't crash a ship, rookie. The Major's master plan has only just begun. But it'll begin when I give him the doo -wot. Ah! Oh, you broke your ship, your flying thing. These newbies always so trigger-happy. Major, Air Unit A, A303 here. Landing area side and taking a detour. Perfect, ETA in five minutes and Area 302. Uh, he suffered a mishap, sir. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Got a new get in the landing area already. Yes, sir, right away, sir. That's funny. Dude died and he's like, yeah, he just, he's... Suffered a little mishap. All right, guys, we're gonna end this episode here. Ooh. Finally, I mean, we did a, a really long puzzle. Are we just looking at like a overview of this? Oh, I think we're just like on the top of the mountain kind of thing. Yeah, it has to be, right? Anyways, yeah, so we did a really long puzzle that I still don't understand. It ended up just being a guessing game, which took a better part of an hour to do. And then we got to do a Stand By Me reference, which was running away from a train. And so we're out of the, the country town. And we all, oh yeah, we also went back in time. How did I forget that? Yeah, we went back in time and stopped the bridge from exploding, which, you know, there's a Back to the Future reference in there. Anyways, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time.